Hey folks, let me share a really fun video with you. Um, this video, well, it means a lot because, you know, as a kid, I would walk across this bridge uh, from the Oakland side to the Alameda side. And I remember when the train cars would go across it and there were train cars actually staged, you know, on the Oakland side, uh, empty rail cars. And, you know, uh, my uncle and I, we'd go and pull the little levers on the on the air brake tanks and uh you know and we thought we were cool letting all the air out of the <laughs> out of the tanks uh you know and just uh, walking across here to go to winchell's donuts and you know get thrifty ice cream uh at thrifties when it was here and radio shack on the other side over there just it's a really cool bridge this is the union pacific railroad bridge uh that's owned by the Army Corps of Engineers right up alongside the Miller-Sweeney Bridge. Uh, the automotive side is the Miller-Sweeney and the railroad side is Union Pacific, uh, both commonly called the Fruitvale Bridge. Uh, but, you know, that's uh, that's the distinction. There's the traffic side is the Miller-Sweeney and the, you know, upright vertical position uh, and the horizontal elevator. Uh, that's the uh, Union Pacific Railroad Bridge. So it's pretty cool, man. Uh, and I said all that to just kind of go in to, to share with you a really unique experience I've had today. I cannot remember the last time I saw the elevator part of this bridge function. It's been, you know, back when I was a kid and I'm 48 now. So to get the chance to be able to see this, uh, you know, these motors, uh, they were just repaired, you know, a few weeks ago. And so... Uh, they were not operational for, you know, over a year, I think it was. But to, to have them repaired a few weeks ago and then to be able to go out on this bridge and ride this elevator to the top, man, was a once in a lifetime experience. And I'm really happy and uh, fortunate I was able to be able to do it. Um, that being said, no trains are ever going to cross this bridge again. Uh, that, you know, horizontal part you see there with the track on it. Uh, the elevator part of it, um, there's there's no train, no plans for any trains going across there. Uh, there's no plans for, you know, that to, to uh, you know, function as a, a railroad bridge anymore. Um, and so at any rate, we're going to uh, come down here with the drone and just record this really cool experience, you know, um, and see a view that you don't often get to see man uh <laughs> you know um this is just a really cool piece of history built in 1951 i think it is uh owned by the army corps of engineers um and it's interesting because these bridges this is one of uh, three bridges that go into alameda from oakland there's the park street the high street and the miller sweeney oh no four bridges there's uh Bay Farm Island Bridge also, so four bridges. Um, and, uh, but, you know, to me, this is, you know, anytime you got a railroad bridge, <laughs> that's that's the best, you know. So here what they're doing is this elevator was going to come down and we were going to go out onto it. And for some reason, there was some uh, weird, uh, you know, delay here. But so I spent pull out and just give you a shot of the whole the whole scene so we can take a look and see just how big this is and and up in the top up there i've done a video on this before if you haven't seen it in my uh on my youtube channel um i'll try to post a link in the a flag in the upper right corner or left corner of the video so you can click on that and check it out uh but i did that video when the elevator wasn't operational uh and nor did i get to ride on it <laughs> but anyway those two towers those uh, vertical towers up in the top where the windows are, there's big cable spools up there. And I was fortunate enough to be able to get a really great tour of the underside of this bridge. Oh, my gosh. It's just a massive, monstrous beast that smells of hydraulic and, and you know, uh, machines. Oh, it's a great time, man. Uh, if you like the smell of you know, cranes and gears and hydraulics and cables, man, this is, that's the tour for you. It's really cool. And mostly it's really impressive to be able to see what goes into making something like this operate and not just operate, but just withstand, you know, time 1951 to 2021. That's like 70 years. 
that's just impressive. And this thing is still strong as ever. And, you know, you wouldn't think about something like this, but looking at the traffic side and the railroad side, when you take the tour down to go uh, into the pit, that's underwater. You're surrounded by water on all sides except for the top. You don't think about, well, where does, you know, just the bridge just opens, right? No, <laughs> there's so much more to it than that. The counterweights swing down underground. There has to be a pit dug for them to, you know, be able to move under the ground uh, to raise the bridge. It's just really incredible when you're down in there with all this steel and and you know all this engineering is just really really humbling to to see how it all works and um it just like i said it was a great time and a really neat experience fortunate to be able to have you know been a part of this because this bridge isn't gonna open <laughs> again you know it's not gonna uh it's not gonna function in, any longer um from my understanding and who knows when they're going to tear it down but i got an awesome view uh, a tour inside the control room and i'll share that in another video with you really awesome all the controls all the old wiring uh that still functions flawlessly you know uh all the crisp clean gauges uh general electric uh just really really awesome opportunity and you can see us here where the Elevator is lower down. We're going to walk out onto the platform. And I took the drone. The drone I got ready and, and took off from the left of the frame there. I didn't want to try to take off and, you know, from a moving elevator, nor did I want to have to try to take off uh, from the horizontal part of the bridge while it was stationary because I'd probably get some kind of compass, uh, you know, calibration error. So I took off from outside of the frame there to the left and then i flew out and controlled the drone from inside the elevator uh, the horizontal part of the elevator there that you see uh here there, there we go wave yay <laughs> and this is going to be a cool piece of my history too man this is really fun this is really a neat opportunity and i'm uh happy to have been able to be a part of it so anyway we're gonna just kind of dolly all the way out man and i'm flying the mavic pro 2 here you know on the right that's alameda side on the left that's oakland side and we're just going to go out here into the middle of the estuary and just get a full look at the entire bridge what a dividing line that is too that estuary as soon as you cross into Alameda, there's just a world of difference between that and Oakland. <laughs> Those who live here know what I'm talking about. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to think the people, uh, you know, that controlled the bridges were up there in the top where the windows are. They could overlook the whole city. You know how your imagination runs wild as a kid. They're like the bridge people up there in the top controlling it. <laughs> uh, that's not accurate. <laughs> they don't. They control it from the little room down below, which, you know, has a stove, a coffee pot, uh, you know, uh, it really seems to be a pretty neat job. Um, and the bridge workers rotate between the bridges, uh, which is another neat thing. Somebody always has to be at the controls of the bridge, not only for the scheduled openings, but for whatever sailboat or whatever wants to come through there somebody always has to be at that bridge you know um and so that's pretty neat to to think about there's there's never a day where there's nobody there you know there we are going up look at that <laughs> and it is smooth if i didn't know that i was on a bridge to go up i wouldn't and and look out from the control of the drone i wouldn't even know the bridge was going up it is that smooth and that quiet it really really is quiet and smooth i 
like I say, if I didn't look out, I wouldn't even know that I was going up. It's really, really impressive. There's not the clanging, banging, grinding, <laughs> screeching sounds you might envision in your mind uh, at all. Super quiet, super smooth. Really, really impressive. I'm going to come in a little bit and I'm going to wave again. I come in a few times to, just to see myself in frame because it's such a unique experience to, you know, be on this bridge and to be able to record it. I <laughs> look at that. And you can see we're just going right up. And the total time from down position to up to back down. Man, I don't think you even, even think it was 10 minutes. I mean, it really didn't take any time at all. Imagine being in the Union Pacific Railroad locomotive crossing that track, man. And that bridge is coming down and, and the train is sitting there, you know, on the Oakland side, just waiting for that bridge to come down. And you're the conductor in that locomotive and you know you're going to cross this really cool, you know, estuary. Uh, and that bridge is made just for your train. <laughs> That's cool. I wonder if they ever raised it with the train on it. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think it could probably withstand that. I don't know. I'm not an engineer, but uh, I wouldn't want to be in the train if it did raise it all the way up there. I just think it lowered for the train to cross and then it raised, you know, for, you know, boats going under it and tugboats. There's, you know, tugboats that go through here and work barges and things like that. But look how amazing a view this is. We had a clear day, windy, but it was a clear day. Look at that, no clouds. Forgive the uh, blown out sky, but you know what? You take what you can get and no matter if you're trying to, you know, find a balance and exposure, uh, we're shooting from, you know, <laughs> the side of the sun that, you know, it just, you take what you can get, man. And uh, if I can't get the sky, well, so be it. The subject is the bridge anyway, <laughs> you know, but I just wanted to kind of capture this. Now we're going back down a little bit, you know, you can see. And there's actually an elevator in the vertical part that you can ride all the way up to the top uh, for those people that work on the bridge, uh, you know, and because there's a lot of stairs and they're really steep stairs with handrails made out of, you know, pipe, uh, really thick uh, metal pipe. And it's like if you've ever been on a tugboat or something, I mean, you know, steps like that i mean they're really close together and really steep at a at, a, at an angle um and it's a good thing they have an elevator because i know darn well climbing up all those stairs uh would definitely put the hurt on you <laughs> you'd get in shape no doubt but what a neat experience this was this bridge was I mean, I remember it as a kid and it's, you can't miss it. You can look, it's visible from, you know, all over those towers, I think, are a hundred and, no, they're over 150 feet high, I think. The bridge doesn't, uh, the horizontal part doesn't go up that high. I think it goes like 110 feet or something. But uh, yeah, those, those vertical parts, I think they're, you know, 150, 180 feet. And you can check out my other video on this bridge uh, and see up close the chains and the hydraulics and all the cool things that uh, I really went in detail with with the drone uh, on that video. This video here was more just capturing the ride and showing the elevator working again uh, and being able to take that trip on it. Just three guys on a train platform, right? <laughs> the Mavic Pro did great. Did great. Um, Mavic Pro 2. I had also, I did a, some drone work for the 
other bridges the same morning uh, and I used a combination of both drones, the Phantom 4 Pro V2 for the video out, HDMI out capability, but then I used the Mavic Pro 2 also. Uh, I think it does a lot better around metal. And so we used it for the up close uh, shots of the bridges because it does better around metal and, and it's a little better in the wind uh, and it was a windy day. There's less of a footprint for the wind to push it around. Um, the Mavic Pro 2 that is, and it did a great job. I like that. Well, folks, thanks for watching the video. If you haven't done so, like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, and I appreciate you watching this video until the end. Check out the other videos I will have available on this bridge as far as the tour of the control room and underneath. Uh, I'm looking for a place to land here. It's getting close to the battery, <laughs> into the battery. So we just fly in and catch it. And woof, there it is, man. Like and subscribe, folks. Thanks again. I appreciate your continued support.